Megger's TDR500 family is composed of advanced, handheld, compact, time domain reflectometers capable of identifying and locating a wide range of cable events. They can be used on any cable consisting of at least two separate conductive elements. They can also be used on two insulated conductors that are separated by the same distance along their length, such as power cable. The TDR500 family has an intuitive interface that simplifies setup and operation. Let's get into that. We'll go over each in detail later, but for now we'll describe that interface. Beginning near the bottom of the face, there is a rotary switch that turns the instrument on and off, as well as selecting setup or either of the two operating modes. Above that, there is a hold button. Next, there is a four-way joystick that, in the operating modes, controls two things. The amount of the cable under test that is shown on the screen and the position of the cursor. In the setup mode, the joystick changes the value of the variable that is being set up. Below the screen, there are left and right arrows that are used in the setup mode. Between these arrows is a button with a light bulb icon to turn the backlight on and off. At the top of the front, there is a monochrome 256 by 128 backlit 3.5 inch LCD. Connections are made on the top of the set. These are two 4 mm safety terminals. Some versions come with different connectors. The TDR500-3 CTV comes with double banana to BNC and BNC to F adapters to allow connection to terminated coax. Also included with the TDR500-3 CTV is a BNC to dual alligator clip adapter to allow connection to twisted pair, individual wires in a cable, or to unterminated coax. When the rubber boot with its integrated stand is removed and the TDR500 is turned over, the cover for the battery compartment, which holds five AA batteries, is visible. 